welcome back to Cracker Jack Cards. Today, I will be showing you guys a bunch of my pickups that I just got from Lee, who owns Sterling Sports Auctions, uh, who is the sponsor of this video and of this channel, as many of you know. Here is some of the next auctions coming up. Definitely go check those out. Um, but anyways, I bought a ton of cards from him. First off, I'll be showing you guys like right when I got the cards, um, all the boxes I got about I got about five boxes of cards. I mean they were graded. Some of them were raw: basketball, football, baseball, hockey, golf, every sport you could think of, even non-sports stuff. Um, but the main focus of this video will be the best baseball cards and a couple football cards I threw in there um, from the whole collection. So I got. I hope you guys enjoy the video and. Let me show you some of the pictures I got. Alright everybody, now let's get into the good stuff. So, coming up first is, uh, it's not in any specific order, but coming up first is the one of the only football cards um, that I pulled out. I think it might be the only football card. And this is a Bobby Lane rookie card. It is a 1948 Leaf. Uh, as you can probably tell, it's not in the greatest conditions. Um, but what I really like about this card is not only is it his rookie card, but as you can probably see, it says Bobby Blonde Bomber Lane, which is just really cool to me. Uh, up next, I'll be showing you some of the 1965s I got. So first we got Bob Gibson, and we got Don Drysdale. Next, we got Gil Hodges. After that, Carl Skremski. And then finally, Willie Stargell. So these, again, aren't in the greatest condition. Uh, this one looks nice, but there's some tape residue and obviously creases, rounded corners, but they're still really awesome cards, all Hall of Famers. Um, and beautiful set as well. So up next, we're going to go to another Carl Yuskrepsky. And that is this. Something I haven't seen ever before, actually. Uh, it's from a game, and it's, these are actually pretty expensive, which we did not know. Um, but yes, this is part of a game, and... There's not too much to say about it. It's uh, Carl Yuskramski, as you can see. And, yeah. Nice card. Obviously writing on the back, but still cool. Up next, we got a nice play ball card. Um, Arthur Whitney. I don't think I've ever heard of him. But this is, I mean, this is in fantastic condition, as you can see. Uh, perfect corners. I mean, no surface issues, no wrinkles, no creases. As you can, like, I mean, those are perfect corners. This might be grade worthy. Uh, yeah, almost mint, probably. I'm trying to keep this going along pretty quick here, so I don't waste too much of your guys' time. Let's go. Let's go all the graded cards next. Every single graded card. So, again, these aren't all the cards, but these are just some that I pulled out. Um, kind of like the best cards out of them. Maybe not the most expensive, but definitely all the ones that I really like and I think you guys would like too. So, we got this 1949 Arthur Wilson Oakland Oaks. If you don't know what the Oakland Oaks are, they're a Pacific League team. And, uh... Yeah, minor league team. This is pretty cool. I've never seen this before. It's actually from Bread, which is pretty cool. And this is graded a six. This 1959 Oklahoma Today. Uh, Jerry Walker. This is as well graded as six. This is a Bazooka Bubblegum card. Hand cut. Graded a five. 1966 to 1967. Next, we got a 1973 Jim Perry. Graded a seven. Only really pulled this one out because I'm a big Twins fan. And lastly, a 1950 Bowman Jack Banta, also graded a 5. 
uh, yeah, nice, nice Bowman card. Uh, next up, let's go with some of the red men. So I've actually never had a red, red men before. Um, I guess red mans. I don't know how you say it. I'm trying to pick them up here. It's kind of difficult. So here's all the red men we got. So you got Ro Robin Roberts right there. Got Johnny Mize. These are all Hall of Famers. Ina Slaughter. So these ones are from 1953. And this one is from 1953 as well. It's damn usual. This one doesn't have the, um, uh, what's it called? The tab. So it's not worth as much, but it's still really cool. And I've never had the red red man before and then we got two 1952 red mans um as you can see the ralph kiner who's also in the hall of fame next up look at this card this is one of the most fabulous cards i've ever seen 1974 dave winfield obviously his rookie card um Great Minnesota athlete. He played in the, uh, for the Twins. He played for the football, or he played basketball with the Gophers, uh, Minnesota Gophers. He played baseball with the Gophers. And uh, 3, 000, uh, he is in the 3,000 hit club, I believe. Um, very nice card. At pristine condition. I'm going to throw this right into my set after I'm done with this video. Next up, I'm going to show you an autographed picture that I got. This is very, very cool. So, I'm going to extend this camera a little bit because it is hard to get the whole thing in frame. So, sorry for the glare, but autographed picture, um, William Hart Heritage. Hall of Fame. He was the president of the American League. Uh, not too much to say about this. It is authenticated by JSA and PSA. I won't be showing you guys that because try not to take up too much of your guys' time. Nice photo. Best wishes, William Hart Heritage. Um, next up, let's show you this. Here, let's let's move this thing back down. technical difficulties here um a nice looking red heart so if you don't know what a red heart is it is a dog food company i think this is i think that i think these were made in 1954 pretty sure maybe 1953 not too sure about this this is my first red man i mean <laughs> not my red man my red heart um hank sawyer obviously a great player and this is also in very, very good condition. Um, yeah, nice card. Nice looking card, too. I mean, I love the design on this. All right, next, let's go to 1948 once again. But this time, let's go to 48 Leafs, uh, baseball Leafs. So, Stuffy Stern, Reese, Stuffy Stern Reese right there and Gerald Pretty. These are also my first 1948 Leaf baseball cards. Um... Snuffy, obviously the better better player out of these two. Um, no Hall of Famers or anything, but these are great players. And yeah, I don't really like the 48 Leafs. I, I don't know. It's just the colors or something. Sorry about that. Uh, the next card is this 1956 Whitey Ford. Uh, obviously, you got some surface issues, some wrinkling right there. Um also soft corners but it's still a really nice card and i don't have this i didn't have this card before um obviously one of the 56 one of my favorite designs um and it's also whitey ford so hall of fame next up let's go do some of these oh, not that um i think these are 64 right 1964 uh giants there's just three of them. I have a ton more. I probably got 50 of them now. 
But here's three Hall of Famers for you guys. Al Kaline, Warren Spahn, and Luis Aparicio. Uh, these are what the backs look like. Pause them and read them if you want. Next, let's go. Let's go look at some pins. How about that? Uh, so, this pin, 1950s Ted Williams. Really cool card. I mean, not card. Uh, really cool pin. I believe it's from the 1950s. That's what, all I could find about it. And obviously, Hall of Fame, one of the greatest to ever play baseball. Next up, we got these sweet Caporel card uh, pins. Obviously, the best player out of this is uh, Clark Griffith, who is in the Hall of Fame. Not as a player, but as an executive, I believe. There he is on the Cincinnati Reds. And then Nick Maddox and Ed Walsh. 1961, Minnie Minoso. Ball seen that. Not a very nice looking card. Uh, 1950, George Kell. Great card. Great looking card, too. Really nice condition. And Hall of Fame. And I'll show these ones together as well. So these two cards, um, this is a 51 Redback, and this is the type of uh, wrapper that these would have came in. Don't mind about that. Uh, so this is pretty cool. Uh, this is my second wrapper, actually, of the 51 Redbacks, and this is my fourth Redback, which is pretty cool. Tommy Holmes, kind of a common, but still cool. So that's all I have for you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys have a fantastic New Year's. Um, like and subscribe. Once we hit 300 subscribers, I will be giving away this card. A nice 76 Lou Brock uh, SGC8. This is also an OPG, which is awesome. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys have a fantastic New Year's. Peace out.